Russell Brand to new age people seems like a threat to the system. They think people like Russell Brand are evolving the system, are evolving the consciousness of humanity into a higher realm. That's what people think about Russell Brand and Eckhart Tolle and Deepak Chopra. They don't even, they can't even acknowledge that they're connected to systems of people who are designed to enslave the masses. That's how paralyzed the New Agers are. They cannot even acknowledge the most obvious shit out there. Oprah and all the people connected to Oprah are attached to the most manipulative, fucked up, destructive system out there. And you have an entire community of people around the world who are saying, nope, I can't look at that information. It's not worth it. It's not worth my time. I'm just going to think of a higher perspective that will hope their way down the line. They're hoping themselves into a higher consciousness. This is what it is. They're playing the waiting game, hoping their way into heaven. That's what it is. As long as you just don't do a whole bunch of fucked up stuff like the system does, then you can hope yourself into heaven. You, you, you'll just hope your way up there. Just, just don't do a whole bunch of fucked up things. So what the system does is it, it plays the devil for the people who now are the gods and the angels. So as long as a system can maintain that it's the devil, it's simultaneously maintaining that you are the angels and, and the God is the God. So you, you have to fight the system. What do the angels have to do? They have to fight. That's their job is to fight the system, right? Fight the demons, fight the devil. So these are these rehabilitated, used to be addicted to the system, these rehabilitated angels now who used to be demons like Russell Brand pawning off like he's some he's some like spiritual teacher and so on and so forth they put these people out there and say oh yeah these are the ones who you should follow and listen to so they'll play like they're crazy like they do with Jim Carrey and um uh, they're doing with Russell Brand how they uh, and there's another one too Jim Carrey these people who talk about consciousness out there and, and the Illuminati and stuff like that, but they're obviously Hollywood actors. Um, not to say that they can't talk about this. They're just saying that it's more complex than that. It's, it's more complex than, than they're just a Hollywood actor who stumbled onto an, a higher awareness. Get the fuck out of here. It's way deeper than that. So like in this video, uh, Russell Brand says, How I Became Confident. Hmm, how did I become confident? Let's see, let me count the ways. I'm so fucking spiritual. Look at how spiritual my fucking shirt is and look how spiritual my tattoos are. I'm the most spiritual rehabilitated mother there is in the whole earth. I am the one qualified to speak about spirituality because I used to be a not spiritual person. I used to be an addict. I was doing all the drugs, having all the sex, doing all this stuff. This is what he's saying with his world. That gives him his credibility to speak to the world. And then the system says the system needs that because the system needs you to focus all your energy dealing with spirituality on how fucked up the system is, not how great you are. Those are two different power sources to focus your energy on how fucked up and healing or focus on how you focus your energy on how badass and amazing you are once you get out of that healing process. See, this is th this system in order to slow down time and the expansion of, uh, of true consciousness and true like movement. What the system has to do is manipulate the amount, the, the way you move, manipulate the velocity of movement and then channel that velocity and direction through that velocity into back into the system. So the system knows that the people on massive scales are going to be, you know, spiritually awakening. Right. So instead of whatever that means based upon, so there's, there are shifts in cycles within our thought processes that go up and down over series of time. And, you know, some people get it, some people don't here and there. Uh, and then eventually over the, the, the many different lifetimes, you'll, you'll work your way to wherever it is. It might not even be this lifetime. That's why I was telling some friends of mine, like there's some, there's some things that people are dealing with today right now. Uh, this is why I don't get involved. There are things that people are dealing with right now that are going to take lifetimes to deal with. So, 
once we get it, start to realize that, then it'll be more easy to see the vending machine spirituality or this new age spiritual like paralysis because that's really what it's boil, boiling down to. The new age mentality, like Russell Brand, like he's saying in here, how I became confident. He He's saying he became confident because whatever kind of spiritual ways he became confident, but he will never ever acknowledge how he became confident from the system of racism, white supremacy existing around the world. None of that was ever mentioned in here. And how much confidence has that added to his reality? to all people's reality. See, this is why the system has to, uh, has to focus everything on what you should be based upon what you're not so far because the system, putting the system up there next to you as if you're the same. We're not the same. See, all, all the systems like, for, this is a good example, all the uh, abuse and rape and all that, all that culture, that's not across the board around the world. That's very specific. You can go, you can channel that directly into Greek, Greco-Roman culture and how they were all about that s &M sort of uh, um, sick and fucked up ways of uh, being in society. Uh, they, they made that normal. So they're trying to make that normal and they're saying that that's human. Oh, these are human problems. We're just these monkey minded people who just want to fuck everything and destroy everything and conquer everything. And then that's, that's going to be what you fix in order to become spiritual. So as long as you fix that, then you can become spiritual. That's what they're trying to play off with Russell Brand. As long as you go from fucked up to less fucked up, that's your spiritual awakening. So if you, it, it's not, it's not to you know go beyond all the this this bullshit. It's to just get better than you were. This is the premise of the New Age agenda: is to focus all your ideas on fixing what was systematically broken so that you don't go any further than the systematic broken consciousness limitation program. You can't go beyond that. You'll become awakened to the point of still being asleep within the system and they need you there. And this is how they do it. They'll talk about how he became, he'll talk about how he became confident, but he won't acknowledge how on a micro scale, but he won't acknowledge how the macro scale confidence contributors added to his micro scale and the mi ma micro scale and the macro scale confidence of so-called white people around the world. See, that's why the new age exists to take your attention off of the power. He's a perfect example. Don't look at the macro confidence that is existing inside the systematic oppression of a certain people. Focus all of your attention in your, your new age, whatever, your spirituality on the micro version of confidence. And then and, and, and that, that'll be it. That's all you have to do. Then you're awakened like me. Da, 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 da. Vending machine spirituality is the biggest threat to the health and well-being of the modern masses. New age spiritual paralysis. This is the intention of the new age agenda.